Uh, my name is Marcelinet Chepkirui Rotich, a director at Ketraco. I chair the staff and remuneration committee of the board. And I also happen to come from this great county of Bomet. Uh, today we are in Bomet County. Uh, I am standing at Bomet uh, substation. Uh, we have been uh, on this trip uh, specifically to demonstrate uh, to you evacuation of power from Olkaria geothermal plant uh, through Narok and then to Bomet. Currently, the residents of Bomet get their power from the same Olkaria. However, the power goes through a very long route. It goes from Olkaria to Lesos, from Lesos it goes to Kibos, from Kibos to Mamboleo in Kisumu, from Mamboleo it goes to Mohoroni, and from Mohoroni it goes to Chemosit, and from Chemosit it goes to Sotik and then to Bomet. Clearly that is a very long route and that occasions and reliability of the power and that is why we have regular blackouts and system disturbances in Bomet County. A very many residents of Bomet have experienced inconveniences every evening due to power blackouts and it also extends to the businesses in Bomet. The main economic activity in this region of Bomet is farming, uh, mainly tea farming and also dairy farming. We do have about 15 tea factories that are inconvenienced uh, with this interruption of power supply and we also have uh, two dairy plants, uh, that is Siongiroi dairy plant and Kipsonoi Kulan. All these uh, businesses face interruptions because of poor power quality. So we bring you good news today uh, to the residents of Bomet that through our company we have a project called the Kenya Transmission Network Improvement Project. And under this project, uh, Ketraco is looking at three high voltage projects. Uh, that is Narok Bomet Line, uh, Rumuruti Kabarnet Line, and Malindi Weru Kilifi Line. These three lines are actually priority uh, projects at Ketraco and they will be done in the short term. Uh, for Bomet residents, uh, we are looking at a time uh, frame of about 13 months where we'll be able to evacuate power to a shorter route that is from uh, Olkaria through Narok and to Bomet. The Narok-Bomet line is going to be uh, 81 kilometers of 132 kV that is going to bring more power to the residents of Bomet. Uh, Olkaria Narok route is already complete and supplying enough power to Narok which is actually in excess uh, and some of that power can actually be extended from Narok now to Bomet. We are also pleased to inform you, the residents of Bomet, that yesterday we had a courtesy call to the county government of Bomet and also the county commissioner of Bomet, who have assured us as a company that even as we do the construction for this transmission line and associated substations, they have assured us of their support in accelerating way leaves acquisitions and compensation for the landowners along the corridor of the line. Uh, we also want to assure you of the support of the national government and the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum in ensuring that we get the necessary approvals on time for us to be able to complete this project within the time frame. When the Narok Bomet line gets energized, the Kenya Transmission Network Improvement Project aligns very well with the power needs of Bomet County. We have been reliably informed that Bomet uh, will be requiring more power to do several extensions and developments in the county. So the requirements uh, at Bomet County would be the new projects coming up. And the first one is the Sotik Industrial Park. Uh, the second one is Mulot Software uh, Factory. That will be the Silicon of the Valley. And the other one is uh, Tenwek Hospital. They are putting up a huge cardiothoracic unit and also Mother and Child Hospital. All these developments in the county would require reliable power and there is also the need for an airport that will be utilized by the hospital to evacuate patients or to bring patients into the, the cardiothoracic uh, hospital. Power is therefore a key enabler to all these projects that are coming up in the county. And we are proud to inform you, the residents of Bomet, that with our Kenya Transmission Improvement Program, all the issues of power needs are going to be resolved in the county. And you will no longer have a problem with uh, the blackouts that we have been experiencing, especially during the peak hours. Thank you.